Hi, welcome to Fishing the Midwest. I just got a call from my buddy Tanner Arndt with the question, Mike, do you want to catch a big bass? Speaking of bass, I'm at Christofferson's Bait in Alexandria where they have everything, whether you're a bass angler, walleyes, muskies, you name it, they have it. Now back to that big bass. I'm grabbing Shane Gazelle, one of our producers. We're going to head west. We're going to meet up with Tanner Arndt and see if he can make good on the promise of a big bass. Hey, dude, you ready to go get a giant? Let's do this. We're on our way to Big Stone Lake. We've been fishing Big Stone for a lot of years. Uh, winter perch, open water walleyes, big crappies and bluegills, and now the largemouth bass really, really come on. Uh, there was a tournament out there not long ago, five fish limit, over 30 pounds. That's a six pound average. And there's been several seven pounders caught out there in tournaments in the last couple of years. So we're headed over there to fish with Tanner Art. You know what? The goal is a giant, maybe a couple giants. We'll see what happens. But um, like I said, Tanner says the bite's been good, and I just can't wait to get over there and sample some big stone largemouth. So, are the bass biting? They're biting. Yeah, they're biting. Are they big? Well, the goal is a big bass, a really big bass, and there's no better place that I know of in the Midwest than Big Stone Lake to catch a fish over five or even six pounds. There's even some sevens in this lake. So one of the things that we're battling a little bit today is the fact that there's been three tournaments in just the last two days on this body of water. So these fish have seen some pressure. Right off the rock, Tanner. He's not a monster, but he's a starter. Big Stone Lake definitely is one of those lakes that wasn't known for largemouth. Uh, but in the last couple of years here, even dating back five, six, seven years, it wasn't as much known, uh, but it's got a lot of big bass in it and the population is booming right now. Yeah, maybe we'll scoop this one. He wants to dig the boat here. Ooh. See him? There we go. There we go. Not that long, but God, just look how fat he is. These fish should be moving shallow towards the bank, so we're gonna start in that two to three foot zone. Oh, that's a good one. There you go. Nice. Same thing, not real long, but man, they are chunky. Fat, yep. Well, that's two in here. That's two. Might be onto a little yeah. something. Woo! <laughs> They can hang out with me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Well, that's two. So Big Stone is a big body of water, but if you're coming out to the area, um, you know, you can look at a map. The, the basin of the lake is pretty structureless, so uh, really a guy can get on the bank and start running. Um, you know, the lake's got numerous islands on it. You can start there. Um, but look in the shallow water, throw moving baits, and cover a lot of water, and you're going to catch bass out here. Realizing that these fish have seen a lot of pressure, Tanner makes the decision, which proves to be a good decision, to move deeper. There's the weeds and this is rock. We start targeting weeds and rocks out in say the four to six or seven foot zone and it's not long and we get bit. I make a long cast, reel my thunder cricket quickly back and I'm just about done with the retrieve when what happens suddenly out of nowhere this big fish appears. Tanner, look at that thing. Oh my goodness. There's a big old bass. <laughs> Mike set the hook and that fish was right there. He hit right next to the boat. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's a little more what we're looking for. <laughs> That's the biggest bass in my career right there, boys. <laughs> look at that thing right by the boat. Right by the boat. What do you think that is? Should we find out? Yeah. 
Don't let me get away. Huh? 6.39. Wow. That's a bass. That's a bass right there, boys. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This bass proves to be 6.39 pounds on the scale. That's my biggest largemouth to date. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by G3 Boats, Luz, Strike King, and Alexandria, Minnesota. Pro-inspired, pro-designed, tested and proven by legends on the water, dominating the tournament trail for over 50 years. Everything you need, one legendary brand, Strike King. Strike King products are available at these fine retailers. Christofferson's Bait, Omnia Fishing, Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters, and many other retailers across the Midwest. Forward-facing sonar is a game changer in the fishing world, and the Right Height Turret Transducer Mount is a game changer in the forward-facing sonar world. The turret operates as an independent motorized shaft, allowing anglers to scan forward and side to side while moving or when spot-locked in place. Plus, the turret is available in foot control or remote control. Simply put, we see and catch more fish because of our turret. Visit their website to learn more. Alexandria, Minnesota is a multi-season, multi-species fishing hotspot with more than 300 lakes to fish, world-renowned bass fishing, booming walleye populations, and top panfish and musky opportunities make Alexandria an angler's dream destination. Plus, Alexandria has a vibrant downtown, great golf courses, miles of ski, snowmobile, and bike trails, and fantastic dining and lodging options. If you're looking for great fishing and family fun, consider Alexandria, Minnesota for your next vacation. Here at Diamond Buick GMC of Alexandria, we have a simple goal for your new or used vehicle buying experience. Customer satisfaction. Our friendly, knowledgeable sales staff will work with you in a no-pressure, hassle-free environment. We also have an accommodating service department that will work hard after the sale to guarantee your continued satisfaction. Family owned and serving Alexandria and all of West Central Minnesota for over 25 years. Visit us in Alexandria at Diamond Buick GMC and experience the diamond difference. Closed captioning on Fishing the Midwest is provided by Offshore Tackle, your leader in trolling technology. Having made the decision to target somewhat deeper water proves to be a winning decision. We start catching fish, and these are the right ones. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's another good one. There you go. We good go. job, Tanda. Yours makes mine look small, but that's a decent fish. That's bad. not a bad fish, you know. Just slid out on some of this deeper rock now. Yep. Got a little bit, and they started growing. Just... Are they always that fat on Big Stone? <laughs> they eat good out here. They do, don't they? They do. How's it feel, Tanner? That feels decent. I'm coming, man, I'm coming. Go around the outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one there. Nice. Good job, Tanner. That's another that big one. That one will work. <laughs> yeah, that one will work. That's four pounds. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a nice. four pounder anywhere you're going. Big stone, that's going to be crowding five. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one there, boy. Yeah. Nice. 
We're starting we're to bigger, get this deal figured out here, aren't we? Bigger fish are deeper, aren't they? They are. They just uh, shifted back out on us a little bit, but that's all right. Made an adjustment, and we're getting into a few of the right ones. Eventually, we land on the Thunder Cricket, the vibrating jig in a half ounce size. And the trailer that seems to produce the biggest fish is a blade minnow. Now, I'm using a little darker color. Tanner's using white. The bass don't seem to matter. What seems to be important is the vibration and the flash of that jig and that plastic combination. I like good ones. Oh, come on, boy. It's not as good as I thought it was. <laughs> Could be worse. Yeah, I thought it was bigger than that. Oh, well. So today's L squared location and lure choice proves to be deeper flats, four to seven foot with rock and weeds mixed in. That's the location where we find the bigger fish. The L part that's the lure proves to be the vibrating jig. The Thunder Cricket half ounce model, like we said, variety of colors, that doesn't seem to be the big thing. Long casts, steady retrieve, that's the winning combination. The four to six foot flat, the vibrating jig. Not a bad one. Yeah, there you go. Is that a good one, Tanner? Probably two and three quarters, three pounder. Look at the belly on that Ooh. thing. Yeah. <laughs> he got some gut. He didn't get that way by not eating. No. Oh, man. Good one. All right. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by Hannay's Marine, Blackfish Gear, Cabotoga Lake, Right Height, maker of the turret forward facing sonar transducer mount, and Diamond Buick GMC. products are available at these fine retailers. Christofferson's Bait, Omnia Fishing, Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters, and many other retailers across the Midwest. Hannay's Marine has a huge selection of boats, pontoons, and accessories priced to fit any budget. Our knowledgeable and experienced team will help you select from industry-leading boat manufacturers, including G3, Bass Cat, Stingray, and Yarcraft, and pontoons from Crest and Suncatcher. Don't get left on the shore. Shop Hannay's to experience more. Visit www.hannaysmarine.com today. Your boat, your memories, our business. Hannay's Marine, keeping you on the water. Lake Capitogama in Voyagers National Park is your year-round destination for experiencing nature at its finest. Enjoy the solitude of the pristine wilderness while having all the comforts of home available in many of the full-service resorts. The fishing is world-class and so are all of the other outdoor activities that are abundant in all the seasons. Cab is the perfect place for your family or group of friends and Cab is an easy drive from anywhere in the Midwest. Lake Capitogama in northern Minnesota. Discover Cab now. Vexilar has defined and redefined ice fishing for over 65 years. I have been using a Vexilar for more than 20 years. Here comes a fish. He's going to bite. Man, that's a nice walleye. My dad grew up using a Vexilar. I've used a Vexilar. They're virtually indestructible. My Vexilar definitely helps me catch more fish. Nobody keeps up with Vexilar on the ice. You won't just catch fish this winter. You will catch way more fish with Vexilar.
You know why I felt good, Tanner? Oh, that's good. Because he is good. Okay, he is good. You bet he is. He's come in this net, too. Nice. nice. Big dog there. Good job, Tanner. Yeah, that that's promotes a big dog. right off the rock, and he slurped it right up. It's he another wasn't. four plus, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Isn't it? He wasn't coming off. He had oh, that thing. Fat juice. So, Tanner, one of the things that it seems like as the days went on, the fish have started to bite a little bit better. And it seems like we've had to slide a little deeper on the rock. That's been important too, hasn't it? Yeah, you know, the other day when I was out, I'd seen a lot of fish in that two, three foot stuff. Um, but today, yeah, we started in a lot of that. And we caught a few smaller fish, but uh, these bigger ones definitely are sitting in more of that four to six, uh, six foot with rocks, you know. So definitely made an adjustment, but paying off in a good way. Yeah, well, sometimes you have to adjust. And I think, you know, we had all that weather come through this week and it probably took shove those big fish back out deep again. Yep, for uh, sure. It's a good fish. Get that one back. Let's get another one. The right tackle, including the right rod, reel, and fishing line are important for these big bass. Today, Tanner and I are using Lou's bait casting equipment. Tanner is using a KVD rod. I'm alternating between a KVD rod and a signature series Andy Montgomery rod designed specifically for use with the Thunder Cricket. These rods, when paired with Lou's bait casting reels, do an outstanding job. In addition to the right rod and reel, right line is important. Now Tanner opts for braid, which works good with the vibrating jig, and I like 20 pound fluorocarbon. I'm using Strike King's new Contra fluorocarbon. This has proven to be a very, very strong, sensitive line that handles really well too. Oh. Come here, girl. There we go. Chunky bass. There. There's a good one there. Oh. <laughs> All shoulders. <laughs> All shoulders. <laughs> Just fat. Fat and fun. I don't know if that fish is going to go 16 inches long, but I bet it's three pounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big stone right now is, is as good a shape as I've seen it uh, with the weeds in the lake. Um, you know, we're seeing all year classes of these fish, but big fish, you know, and bluegills, we're seeing 10, 11 inch fish. Bass, we're seeing five, six, up to seven pound fish. Walleye, same thing. We're seeing those eight, nine pounders on a pretty regular basis. So the lake is just full of real healthy fish right now. It's gonna be good for years to come. Let's take a break from the fishing and go back to Christofferson's bait. Now Shane Gazelle, our producer today, is also a manager at Christofferson's. We're gonna learn more about the loose rods with Shane. Shane at Christofferson's, you carry some of the loose rods for bass fishing. Talk about some of those. Yeah, so we have a couple different models to choose from in your hand there. We got the KVD series, spinning and bait casting. Uh, they're IM8 blank, uh, great price point, about around 100 bucks, and they're technique specific, so they've got a rod for whatever you're looking to do. Um, here in my hands, I've got that new signature series. we got the wind grip, which is a nice added feature to this rod. It comes in a little bit higher price point. Again, technique specific as well. So they've got a rod for whatever you're looking to do. And in addition, you guys have a selection of other rods and reels, correct? That's correct. We carry uh, rods, reels from all the leading manufacturers as well. Awesome. This is a little guy. Little guy. For Big Stone, anyway. <laughs> little guy for Big Stone. They're not all that little, though. <laughs> they eat pretty and, but good. But that's another up and comer, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're looking at a pound and a half fish there that is in really good shape. So these fish grow fast, and we're going to get them back and uh, let them do his thing. He's grown up. Fishing the Midwest is brought to you by Distinctive Cabinet Design, Superior Industries. Relevant Sunglasses, Vexilar, and K-Drill.
everything you need. One legendary brand. Contra Performance Fishing Line by Strike King. Strike King products are available at these fine retailers. Christopherson's Bait. Omnia Fishing. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters. And many other retailers across the Midwest. Are you ready for a different way of life? A job that brings you close to the things you love. Together, we train, we build, you play. Visit workatsuperior.com to apply. That's workatsuperior.com. Distinctive cabinet design manufactures commercial millwork and retail fixtures. Plus, they handle all your granite and quartz needs as well. Specializing in commercial millwork and retail fixtures for hospitals, hotels, casinos, banks, and more. Distinctive cabinet design can do the job for you. Visit their website to learn more. Distinctive Cabinet Design, serving Minnesota and the entire country since 1999. Developed from the latest technology, Blackfish Technical Apparel outperforms, so anglers have gear that they can trust in, no matter the conditions. Big stone, well, of course, by the name, it uh, has a lot of rocks in it. So these bass definitely relate to that, where the rocks transition to weeds is generally where you're going to find a lot of your bass on the lake. So you can weeds here, you can say harder rock in here. Right, Tanner? Yep. Today I'm wearing Relevance sunglasses. Now we've been wearing Relevance for a year and we love them. One of the things that I love about Relevant glasses is their chameleon lens technology. The lenses adjust colors with the changing of the light conditions, makes it tremendous for seeing in the water, seeing cover, seeing fish. Tanner, yep. we need the net. He's a jumper. <clears throat> oh, nice. oh yeah. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. That is a thick one. <laughs> yeah, it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was kind of yo-yoing it off that edge of the rock. Pulled it, let it slide back down, pulled it, second time. He's thick. There she goes. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. God, we've had a good day. You know, Tanner, it's not just that, I mean, we've caught a lot of three pound plus fish, three to six pound fish, what, a dozen at least? But the encouraging thing is we're seeing all these small fish too. So there's, there's up and comers in the system too, isn't there? Yeah, Mike, there's a lot of little ones coming right now too. Um, so yeah, we got we got fish for years to come, and uh, it works good too. If you got a family coming out, you can get bit. Uh, you know whether it is just a one pounder or it is a six pounder. And speaking of families, I got a backlash here. <laughs> That's not what I was talking about though. Speaking of families, um, that bluegills and crappies will be moving up any day now too, and that's going to make for some family fun too, won't it? Yeah, we're we're days away from. Uh, like you say, seeing all the panfish and stuff move in shallow too. Um, and that's gonna be one of them deals where you can set up along some of the shallow rock and do a bobber and a worm, a leech, and you don't know what you're gonna catch. It could be a bass, could be a bluegill, it could be a crappie. Yeah, and don't forget about the walleyes too. There's a lot of really nice walleyes in this system right now too. Big Stone, if you like fishing, I don't know, this is still one of the premier multi-species fisheries in the Midwest, at least that I know of. No question about it. Oh, 
What are we thinking? Oh, big oh yeah. One. Big one. Another nice. toad. Good job, Tanner. Right where you're supposed to be. Good work. That one was not coming off. <laughs> no, he ate that thunder cricket, didn't he? Wow. Yeah. That's another three and a half. Four. Might even be crowded four again. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. God, they're just fat, healthy, fun. <laughs> Today we're fishing from our G3 Sportsman. Now the G3 Sportsman has all the features of a tournament bass boat. It's got big casting decks, spacious storage compartments, a great rod locker, and it's at an affordable price as well. This is a really, really good value in a bass boat. Oh boy. Not as big as I thought, but <laughs> still though, three pounder. We don't complain about those. Two and three quarters. It's a nice fish. Yeah. That's just that healthy. Fun. They are starting to eat, aren't they? They're eating. They're eating. Took us a little bit to figure it out, but boy, once we got it figured out. As you can see, Big Stone has tremendous bass fishing, but it's got big walleyes giant bluegills, a really, really growing crappie population, and of course the perch get attention all winter and in the summer as well. If you like fishing and you like multi-species, Big Stone is a place that you really ought to have on your bucket list. In addition to great fishing, Big Stone has a variety of lodging options and some great places for dining as well. The other thing about Big Stone, these are friendly people. They want you to catch fish they'll help you out. A stop at Artie's Bait Shop in Ortonville is always a good starting point when you're fishing Big Stone. Great lodging, good food, a top bait shop, and Go Fasters is a marine dealer. They're a G3 boat dealer here in Ortonville. So if you've got some boat issues when you're on Big Stone, they've got you covered as well. Well, there you have it. Tanner Arndt came through. A giant bass and a bunch of other big ones too. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again next time. And as always, remember to include a youngster in your next outdoors adventure.